I'm so happy to be among the first people to introduce to the United States uh, a brand new form of omega-3 oil. Everybody knows that omega-3 is anti-inflammatory. Everybody knows that our society is eating too many foods containing omega-6 fatty acids in inappropriate ratios. Therefore, we have tendency towards inflammation, inflammatory disease, and autoimmune disease. And that is why everybody is taking fish oil or flax oil as a source of omega-3 to offset this omega-6 fatty acid. And I'm so happy that now we have a form of omega-3 fatty acid that is far superior to anything that we have had here before. In the United States, almost everyone, and in Canada too, are using omega-3 from fish. And the fish oil industry is highly unecological. It destroys our environment. It destroys the wildlife in the seas. If you knew how those fish are being treated in captivity, in cages, off the shores of many countries, you would not want to eat the products coming from those fish. Even if the oil from the fish is purified from certain heavy metals, there is no 100% purification process. And even if there are no heavy metals, which you would expect from any sea organism today to accumulate heavy metals from the runoff of agriculture, you cannot remove thousands and thousands of other chemicals that are present, that are fat soluble and accumulate in the fatty tissue of those fish. You cannot eliminate all the petroleum byproducts, all those dioxins. And studies have shown in every batch of fish oil that has been studied, that is sold already over the counter or even sold through prescription. It has been studied and it has been shown to be containing numerous toxins even if they have removed the heavy metals. Fish oil is also bad in taste and in smell. So unecological, untasty and a lot of toxins plus it is manufactured with very high temperature distillation and because it is unstable it is going to be gradually rancidified and sometimes it takes very short amount of minutes of exposure to oxygen, to air, to heat um, and to light for these unstable fatty acids that are designed for cold water fish not for warm temperature like the room that we live in or like our own body which is hot at 98 plus degrees Fahrenheit. These omega-3 fatty acids are very unstable and they become rancid in our own body and they rancidify our own fatty tissue when we eat them. So the fish oil is distilled in high temperature and it does not contain many of the stabilizing agents that you would find in natural substances containing omega-3 fatty acid like green leafy vegetables, walnuts and other seeds. That is why even people who choose fish oil oftentimes see that they don't work as well as they should. Many times they don't give you the anti-inflammatory effect that you would expect if you ate the fresh fish or the whale blubber whatever you choose to eat, those would give you the effect, but they would also give you a lot of poisons. The supplements don't give you the effect that they should according to the scientific studies. The question is why? Because the fat is rancid, unstable, and oftentimes containing toxins. Let's contrast this with this brand new product that is coming now to the United States, that is here in this world thanks to a company in Israel that has created um, this product based on numerous years of studies and investigation in the agricultural faculties in Israel's best universities. They found out that when they cold pressed 
oil from the seeds of the salvia scleria plant which is a special plant unlike any other salvia plant. It cannot be compared with chia seed which are salvia hispanica. It cannot be compared with other salvia plant because each one is a totally different plant. The chia seed are only an annual plant. The salvia scleria is a, per, uh, is a perennial plant. So it is a totally different plant and the contents of proteins and medicinal value is completely different. The salvia scleria is a medicinal plant in the Holy Land. It is growing wild in the Holy Land. It does not need any pesticide or insecticide. It's a renewable source of omega-3 fatty acid. And the studies have shown that it is the highest concentration of omega-3 fatty acids in nature. When you extract the oil in cold press, there is no heat, there is no high temperature distillation and it is pure because there are no pesticides or herbicides or fungicides used on those plants which protect themselves being that they are medicinal and they have all those aromatic protective oils within them. When you look at that oil, it contains 50% omega-3 fatty acids. That's the highest in nature. It also contains 25% oleic acid, which is the, olive, the, the type of oil that we find in olive oil, which is helpful for memory and helpful for lipid metabolism and many other reasons that are known in the Mediterranean diet to bring additional health to our healthful diet. The remaining 25% of oil will contain other forms of polyunsaturated fatty acid including omega-6, but it is in tiny, tiny quantity by comparison to any other source in nature. Not only that, this omega-3 oil is ALA, alpha linolenic acid. ALA is the number one omega-3 fatty acid that is essential in our health. All three types of omega-3s are necessary, ALA, EPA, and DHA. People who take fish oil only get the EPA and DHA. They don't get the ALA. Many studies have shown recently that the ALA is extremely important and should not be neglected. When you take omega-3 from fish, you neglect the ALA. It has direct medicinal effect and direct anti-inflammatory effect in your body and in your brain. And you need it. ALA is the only omega-3 that is transmitted in any significant quantity through breast milk. It is also the only one that is transmitted significantly through the umbilicus into the embryo and is very important for the embryological development of the brain and central nervous system. It's ALA. The body converts ALA in small amounts to EPA and DHA. Some people are told that the conversion is so inefficient that they will have a deficiency in EPA and DHA. Well, recent studies have shown, and those were done by Professor Crawford, who is the father of omega-3 oils, who's done 40 years of research on the topic. And he is the head of the Brain Research Center in London. He said that the half-life of DHA in the brain is two and a half years, which means you need a tiny, tiny, tiny amount of DHA to, sup to supply the need since very, very little of the DHA is being degraded if the half-life is two and a half years. The amount that you might need maximally is 3.8 milligrams of DHA. If you take this omega-3 from the salvia scleria, oil, there is sufficient dose there of omega-3 that even if you had a minuscule conversion rate of 2%, and normally it is between 3 and 5% at the least, even if you had 2 or even 1% conversion, you would still have enough DHA that you will develop, that you will manufacture from that ALA source.
EPA has been found to be somewhat toxic in large amounts, and you get a lot of it from fish oil. That is the anti-inflammatory prostaglandin or a source or anti-inflammatory compound that people are, are using to improve their symptoms when they have numerous inflammatory diseases. It doesn't work very well according to some studies because of the rancidity. But it can be toxic to have too much EPA. And the body can use ALA to convert it to, a to EPA um, as long as your diet is good. If you have a very poor diet containing excessive amount of animal-based protein, and if you eat a lot of uh, refined foods and you end up deficient in various nutrients, then your conversion becomes slower. I feel like it's a great opportunity to give people the best omega-3 source while also educating them about healthy diets, eating more plant-based and less animal-based foods, eating more wholesome and less refined and processed foods. That will improve the nutritional status in general, but also help them convert ALA to EPA and DHA more effectively. In addition to the importance of the ALA itself, we have to use ALA because of its stability. And this is the most important fact that's been established about this type of omega-3 fatty acid. It is stable even in room temperature exposed to sunlight for over two years. No other omega-3 oil in nature has ever been shown to be as stable as this source of omega-3 oil. It is so stable that it can actually be effective. And from clinical experience of many doctors, medical doctors in Israel, and medical professors in Israel who are using this product now and recommending it on the television, on radio stations all over Israel, it is making a big entry into the Israeli market because all those doctors are getting results they have never gotten with fish oil. It is far more effective as an anti-inflammatory because it is stable for two years, whereas flax oil in 20 minutes becomes rancid in room temperature or in body temperature. Flax oil should not be consumed. Flax also contain three times the phytoestrogens as soy does. So if you get the oil with all the phytoestrogens concentrated like that, you are bound to affect your hormonal balance over time. This form of oil, the omega-3 from salvia scleria, does not contain any of those phytoestrogens. It does not contain any of those petroleum byproducts and dioxin and other toxins from the from sea animals. Instead, it contains medicinal products, medicinal compounds, because it comes from a medicinal plant. These medicinal plants um, contain hundreds of proven medicinal compounds. In this plant alone, they have isolated over a hundred medicinally effective compounds, antioxidants, anti-inflammatories, antifungals, antiparasitical, antibacterials, and antivirals, and many others. They have found scleriol, an extremely potent antioxidant, in large amount in this form of oil. Scleriol is a thousand times stronger than vitamin C as an antioxidant. They have found in it um, a high amount of coenzyme Q10, something you'll never find in fish oil. This coenzyme Q10 is a potent and important intracellular antioxidant. It's a very important free radical scavenger inside the cell. And it helps us manufacture energy in the mitochondria and helps the mitochondria heal in our body. You don't get CoQ10 in any other omega-3 oil in this quantity. This oil contains all four isomers of vitamin E. So it has even delta tocopherol, which is extremely rare in nature. Their 